Good morning, Internet world. Hey, this is Arlen Nagata. I just want to do a quick uh, WordPress tutorial today. Um, I've uh, ventured into the wor world of frameworks. And um, frameworks help you build your websites really simply, really easily. And um, I'm just learning, so I'm going to take you on a quick tour and learn with you as we go through this. Well, I've chosen this theme from Rocket Theme. It's called uh, Quantiv, and it's built on this Gantry framework. And you can see some information down here, built with Gantry. Um, and basically what that means is it, Gantry is like a back-end system to help you build your website quicker and more effectively. Um, and this helps me because I'm not I'm not like a super strong coder like I'm going to write programs and plugins and all kinds of stuff in code and I'm also not like this super insane designer that has a incredible eye um, but I I'm, I'm kind of in that middle ground where I, I know the code I know how to work it and I know some design things so I can I can make things look good but I'd like to start with a base okay so I'm gonna take this theme as a base and then just start to build uh, build that up and uh, let's see how easy that is with this framework okay so we're jump to my dashboard here this is my website I've, I've got some tabs open but uh, basically here is uh, my framework options if you scroll all the way down here, you'll you'll probably see Quantive Theme, and that's you click on that, and you'll get all of these options here. Well, first of all, um, without touching any of the options, what what does the site look like? Um, it looks pretty plain. There's really nothing. There's no nav navigation. There's there's nothing here. It's just all of my posts that I've I've uh, on my website, and it's a really kind of plain background um, so well, how do we start working with this well we can begin it's really uh, point and click so as I as I click and I'm going to change the blog content so I only want this to show a couple of different um, categories of blogs the really great thing about Gantry is that when you point at something it'll it'll pull up this help menu over here and tell you exactly what you need to do so I need I need these category numbers but I don't know them offhand so I've opened the the categories right here I've opened that in another tab and I've installed another plugin called WP show IDs what that does is it it shows me these IDs here so I want my my tech tools blog to come up and that's six and then my WordPress blog is 77 so I want those two to come up in my theme so I just put those two in here um, blog query type you know I don't want the whole post no I do want the post the content I don't want the whole content I just want an excerpt okay and I'm just gonna save that and let's take a look at what that what that does here just refresh my page And there you have it. It's uh, compressed. So now I'm, I'm just seeing excerpts of my content. Okay, but that still doesn't help me with the, with the, the rest of the, the look of the website. Well, there are many other options here. I'm gonna, I, I notice there's an iPhone option and that's pretty cool. So if I don't wanna use any kind of uh, advanced mobile things, I can just set some uh, iPhone presets here and this framework will help me produce a mobile site at the same time, which is pretty cool. I, I haven't del delved into that yet, so I, I don't know too much about that. But I will learn layouts, style. Here, th I think the style is what I want. I want to change this background style. Um, style number seven is just not doing it for me, but uh, perhaps something like style number three. So let me just save that. And I am working live on the internet so my site is probably looking pretty funky right now but it is taking a little while to uh, load once I push 
save. Okay, and I think that's saved, so let's refresh the page. Okay, that's a nice blue and green theme. I, I like that. And you see how really easy it is to change kind of the preset looks for the website? Um, and that's looking pretty good. Okay, well, Gantry is a widget-based framework, so I'm going to go to the widgets here. And when I say widget-based, what I mean is Gantry's made all of these areas for me to put widgets in. And widgets is just a, an easy way to, um, to add content. Okay, so up in the header section, I'm just going to drag the Gantry logo in there, and I'm not going to I'm not going to do any of the options. In the navigation area, I'm just, I'm going to drag the Gantry menu in there. Okay, and again, I'm not going to do any options for that. Um, and uh, let's see what that looks like. So widgets automatically save, so I can just go to my my site and and refresh. Okay, look at that. So it's put in this area for the widget, and I'll, I'll change the logo to my logo a little bit later. And I've got this menu. Okay, And the neat thing is this menu uses the custom menu that I've set up in, um, in the appearance menus. So my custom menu is all set just by dragging that widget in. Pretty cool. Okay, now I want to add a showcase, showcase some of my things. I, I've I pre-made this um, very quickly just to show you um, a, a little showcase plugin that is included with this framework and this theme, I should say. Okay, so really kind of quickly, I have this, this section for... my services. Okay, and I know it looks ugly and all that stuff, but I, you know, I have to play with it. I have to work around with it. I, I'm just learning how to use the framework right now. Okay, let's go back to the widget. I think I need a sidebar. You know, um, I need my Mailchimp widget definitely. There's no options. Um, I need recent recent posts. Where's that? Okay, recent posts needs to that needs to be in there. Oh, yeah, that's good. Normally, I would set all this stuff up, but I I'm not. Uh, doing that right now. I think I have a social media widget. There you go. And let's drop you in there. Uh, okay, that's not set up. But anyway, so I've dropped those widgets in there. And let me just refresh my page. And look at that. Okay, so my this showcase area is full you know full width and then my sidebar comes in right after that next to the post well, that's pretty much exactly what I want okay and so you can see I started from nothing but using a framework and um, the built-in options I I changed the background I changed the, the look of the site uh, if you notice I changed some of the fonts and colors along with that um, I added a logo, I added this nav, I added this uh, little slider up here, um, did some uh, sidebar work, and all that in just a couple of minutes. Well, I'm really starting to like working with these frameworks uh, because very quickly I can get a custom look and I can get exactly what I want. Now, of course, I'm still going to have to play with this and style it and and uh, work on that a bit, but very quickly I, I have the skeleton and the base of the website exactly how I'd want it to look. So I'm pretty pleased with this. I hope you've liked this uh, tour of um, frameworks and WordPress and uh, stick around. Um, I'm going to work on my website for a little bit and see what I can uh, come up with. Okay, have a great day. Aloha from Hawaii.